the owls lesson. Swallows and swifts flew high above the head of Percy the park keeper. Soon they would be off on their long winter holidays. Some birds had already gone. Percy was thinking how nice it would be to join them, but his thoughts were soon brought back down to earth. Percy, look what we found! Just ahead of him, a squirrel friend and the mole were standing over a heap of twigs. Hello, said Percy. That looks like an old nest. He picked it up. I shouldn't think anyone lives in it now. Then you'd be wrong, said a little voice. A small feathery head stuck itself out from beneath the twigs. I live in it, and you're holding me upside down. I'm so sorry, said Percy. He turned the nest over. I thought you would have gone with your friends and relations. Can't fly, said the little bird. I didn't get the hang of it. Oh dear, Percy began, but he wasn't allowed to finish. Good morning. It was the owl. Owl, called Percy, can you help? This little fellow can't fly. Flying, said the owl as she swooped overhead. Nothing to it, she hooted as she went into an impressive spin. Just flap and go. The owl shot up into the air and out of sight. Almost at once, she was back again, flying just above their heads. You see? She cooed. It's easy. Look out! shouted Percy. Thump! The owl hit a pine tree. Pine cones rained down on the squirrel and the mole, followed by the owl in a dazed and untidy heap. Well, said Percy, I think there's a lesson for all of us. Percy, said the squirrel, have you got any string? Percy felt in his pocket. Here's a piece, he said. Why do you want it? The squirrel jumped to his feet. Come on, he said to the little bird. I'll give you a piggyback. Percy looked puzzled as the squirrel began to climb a tree with a very nervous passenger on his back. He needs to get used to heights, explained the squirrel. When he reached the top, the squirrel tied the string between two branches. It's a tightrope, he said. Follow me. Balancing carefully, the squirrel stepped onto the string. The little bird bravely followed. Hooray! cheered the mole. Well done, called Percy. We'll have you taken to the air in no time. At that very moment, with a twang, one of the squirrel's knots came undone and the tightrope walkers found themselves falling. The squirrel managed to grab the end of the string. The little bird didn't. As he looked down, he expected to see the ground rushing towards him. Instead, he saw Percy holding out his cap. The little bird fell right into Percy's cap, but so hard that he bounced straight out again. Oh no! shouted Percy. He's going to fall into those thorn bushes. Fly! Fly! And as if he'd been doing it all his life, that's just what the little bird did. He flew. 
away from the thorns, up into the air and perched at the top of the tree. Don't stop, called the owl. You can go after your friends and relations now. The little bird looked delighted. I will, he called back. Thank you, everybody. And with that, he was off over the treetops. Don't mention it, said a voice dangling from a piece of string halfway up a tree. Don't mention it. <laughs>